No human can beat me. The story starts off with Frank Taylor, who is a journalist. After a long day's work, he's about to head home to the office when his co-worker looked at him and was like, what's wrong, Frank? Why you'd always look depressed at the end of the day? He replies, you'd be depressed too if you had to go home to my wife. Why, what's the matter with her? She complains about my job all the time. It seems that being a wife of the reporter isn't as glamorous enough for her. When we got home, it was the same song and dance with his wife. She says, all you do is report the news, but the other wives' husbands make the news. When I think of all the wonderful, exciting men I could have married, instead I got you. Frank just sits there taking it and he says, just quit nagging me and leave me alone. Then all of a sudden the telephone rings. Frank seems to be in some kind of hurry, saying, what, what is that? You're kidding me. And he gets on his coat and runs out the door. When he arrives, his building is filled with reporters. They talk about a monster that's come from outer space and is going to destroy the Earth. The monster gets to a podium and is broadcast across the entire world. Hear me, people of Earth. I am the spokesman of my race, of mighty warriors. We have chosen your planet for our next conquest. But before I strike, my leaders have sent me here to offer the same test we offer all our victims. If among the entire human race, there's one person who can surpass me in any physical or mental feat, the invasion will be called off, otherwise we strike. The crowd starts laughing, saying that we have many athletes here that can beat this alien. He has no chance. The earth is going to be saved. So the contest starts. They first start off with a wrestling match and he decides to wrestle one person, easily defeating him. So then they give him four, five, six, seven men, and he destroys every single one of them. They realize he's too strong and powerful for a wrestling match, so they try something maybe he's never done before. They challenge him in a game of baseball. After explaining the rules of baseball, he easily defeats them, hitting the ball way past the stadium and into the river below. So their next challenge is a weightlifting match. They find the strongest human on earth and he lifts a barbell over a thousand pounds above his head. But just then, but just then the monster picks up the stage where the weightlifter is lifting and picks up not only the stage, but the weightlifter and the barbell above his head. They realize they're gonna have to come up with a new tactic. So they challenge him in a game of golf. And once again, the alien easily defeats the humans. So then they do another test and another test. They try mountain climbing. Instantly, the alien defeats them there. So then they thought they got this all wrong. They're like, okay, we cannot match his physical strength. So let's try a mental thing. They challenge him in an animal taming test. And he's easily able to tame all the animals with no problem. They challenge him in a swimming test. He can swim faster than their nuclear power destroyer. Nothing can keep up with him. And in desperation, they challenge him to one more feat. They challenge him in a game of chess. And he's easily able to beat every single one of the best minds at chess on Earth. The alien then approaches the people of Earth. I've won every contest on Earth. Now it is doomed. Just when everyone on Earth thinks that their world is gonna be conquered by an alien race, Frank Taylor steps out of the crowd. No, we're not finished yet, for I know of a sport at which any Earthman can beat you, even an ordinary guy like myself. I challenge to meet you tonight at the outskirts of the city. And then that evening, Frank Taylor and the alien go off to the outskirts of town, just them two. Then at daybreak, they can see a figure walking back from the outskirts. It's Frank Taylor, just by himself. The crowd cheers and is like, you saved, you saved the earth. So what kind of contest did you do? How did you defeat him? It was simple. The contest was sleeping. I told the alien that sleeping was our most important sport. Every night, millions of people go to sleep and each one tries to remain in that state longer than his neighbors. I told him I held the world's record for sleeping a million years. I challenged him to top my record. The alien laughed and said, a million years, I can do two million years. He then requested I take him to a quiet place where he could perform our feats without interruption. And as he slept, I left. Some say that to this day, the alien is still there sleeping. That there's a cave where army men guard it, not letting anyone go near it, as fear that they might waken the monster. This is one of three stories inside Strange Tales 98. It was done by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby.